I affirm, resolve, the appropriation of outer space by private entities is unjust. My value today is truth. In today's political climate, truth has become an increasingly rare commodity. In these uncertain times, it's important for the people to be able to trust that the government and institutions will spend their tax dollars. Therefore, my criterion is minimizing lying. Since today's topic revolves around a topic that is out of reach for the average person, we must look at it on a governmental or corporate level. On that, lot, at that level, minimizing lying becomes the best way to promote truth. Falsehoods are known to undermine the value of trust or undermine the trust of the people and can lead to corruption at the highest levels. Contention one, the resolution is irrelevant because the earth is flat. Subpoint, subpoint A, evidence that the earth is flat. It is becoming increasingly accepted that the earth is flat and outer space is a hoax. Rapper and philosopher B.O.B., famous for songs Nothing On You, boasts more than 2.3 million Twitter followers. Therefore, we can accept that he knows what he's talking about and his views are generally accepted. He pointed out that if the earth were in fact round, cities in the distance would not be visible because of the earth's curvature would obscure them. The fact that that is the case anyways is irrelevant. One of his most profound observations, though, is this. No matter how high you are in the atmosphere, the horizon is always at eye level. Nobody can actually ever see over the curvature of the Earth. You can't actually see the curvature of the Earth. Now, the Marxist socialist liars at NASA would have you believe that the Earth is, in fact, round. That's a lie. You cannot believe them. They have spent years pushing out an outdated conspiracy theory that is round by pushing easily refutable photographs, which appear to show the curvature of the Earth. These photos, of course, are very easily doctored by simply using a fisheye lens for your camera. The fisheye lens is a well-known photography technique that allows the photographer to capture a wider view. It is a convex lens that distorts the picture, though, and it appears to give curvature to long, flat planes. That's how they do this. This is how they fake photographs from space. They send drones up very high above the Earth and use a fisheye lens to make the horizon look like it has a curve. Of course, it is well known that no human can actually live in outer space, so all pictures of the Earth purportedly from space are the result of CGI. Now, anyone who's played video games for any length of time knows that CGI is getting better and better by the year. They can create an entire world in which you can experience alternate reality. There are even, girl there are even games where you can get a girlfriend. But that's not relevant here. What matters is that they can fake images of the Earth. Subpoint B. The moon landing was fake because nobody has ever been to outer space. Now, John F. Kennedy once used the space race to infiltrate our government with Marxist socialists in a plot to undermine the masculinity of American men. Subpoint B1. Photos taken on the moon prove that the landing was actually filmed in a basement in Hollywood. Now, one photo, which I'm happy to provide for evidence, was supposedly taken by Neil Armstrong for the, for the Apollo 11 mission. It shows shadows casting at two different angles. Then clearly that proves that the light was coming from multiple sources, such as studio cameras or studio uh, studio lighting. The sun stands from a single point in line. Therefore, the shadows should be running parallel with one another. Subpoint B2, astronauts cannot visit space because they cannot survive Earth's radiation field. Earth is surrounded by a group of charged particles known as the Van Allen radiation belt. High energy particles from the sun get trapped in pockets in the atmosphere. Anyone going into orbit would die from radiation poisoning. Subpoint B3, there are no pictures of stars on the moon. Now, Hollywood really thought they pulled one over on us by showing photographs from the moon. However, they famously overlooked putting stars in the background. This is because Marxists are famously stupid compared to Sigma males. Just because it was daytime on the lunar surface doesn't mean you couldn't see stars. I see the moon during the day sometimes, therefore you should be able to see stars during the day. Subpoint B4, Apollo, the Apollo 11 flag was waving in the wind. Now, it is this perhaps uh, the Marxist socialist Hollywood elite's weakest attempt at proving that we landed on the moon. When soy boy Buzz Aldrin, who's famous for his interactions with flat earthers, planted the flag on the moon, it started waving in the wind. Now, there's just one problem. The moon supposedly has no air. Therefore, the flag shouldn't be able to wave at all. So because it's clear that we've never been to the moon, we can safely conclude that private companies cannot send people to celestial bodies. They would die in the Van Allen radiation belt. Thus, we can conclude that any attempts to launch rockets into outer space are a Marxist socialist plot to concentrate capital in the hands of people like Elon Musk, who then turn around and bribe politicians like sleepy Joe Biden. Contention 2. Only heaven exists above the earth, and you cannot appropriate heaven because Jesus was a socialist. Now, it is well established that, the American, that America is a Christian nation. We have been, ever since our founding fathers, put in God we trust on the currency in 1954. We cannot send people into outer space because outer space doesn't exist. Only heaven exists above the earth. 
Should private companies appropriate heaven? Almost certainly not. Now, in Matthew 19, verse 21, Jesus famously said, If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. He further explained in verse 24 that, quote, Again, I tell you, it is easier for the camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Now, after Jesus ascended to heaven, he commanded that his apostles to live communally. They did not buy or sell anything. Instead, when they entered a city, they relied on the charity of others for food and shelter. They held no actual possessions. This is called communal living. And is proof that Jesus is a socialist. Now, the good kind, not the Marxist kind. We need to be clear about that. The Hollywood Marxists would have you believe that we can make a profit from outer space. What they really want to do is they want to go to heaven by force and take wealth for their dirty Marxist schemes. Now, it is said that the streets in heaven are paved with gold and the land is flowing with milk and honey. So it sounds to me like asteroid mining is just another way of saying they want to go to heaven and rip up the golden streets and give themselves golden showers of money. Now, have you seen the price and quality of local honey? It's outrageously expensive. If heaven is flowing with milk and honey, then the Marxists would then mine that honey, return it to earth, and sell it for a profit. Now, Eve appropriated a piece of fruit, and look where that got us. We really shouldn't be pushing the envelope further here. So we have to protect heaven. Jesus would never allow us to privately appropriate heaven because he was a socialist. Contention three, we have to protect Sasquatch. Now, because we now know the earth is flat, it is very prone to rising ocean levels. That would put entire states like Florida, which is a last bastion of freedom, underwater. It would also put the Pacific Northwest underwater. That means that important creatures like Sasquatch is already, you know, Sasquatch would be at risk. And Sasquatch is already in danger, and he's incredibly rare. Look, a lot of people pretend that Sasquatch doesn't exist. My uncle saw one, though, so I know it's real. We cannot let them go extinct. One rocket launch... Uh, for four people, produces 200 to 300 tons of CO2, according to the USA Today Fact Checker. This means that rocket launches contribute to flat global warming and that endangers our precious Sasquatch population. We have to protect them. Are we really going to endanger our beloved bipeds just so we can send rockets to heaven and laugh in the face of God? It would just be like the Tower of Babel all over again. So because outer space doesn't exist, the Earth is flat, we have to protect God from the Marxists, and we have to protect Sasquatch from the Marxists. Therefore, I must affirm.